your interest in law enforcement to start with? You know, I, I got interested while I was in high school. Uh, a couple of friends of mine were local police officers. I grew up in a small town and uh, rode around with them a lot. And uh, that's how I got interested in law enforcement. And it's stuck with it the whole time. What is it about, uh, about it that you've enjoyed so much? Helping people. That's, I, I think, if, if everybody can feel like you've done something to help people uh, in the corrections field, I was always hoping that we could send somebody out the door in the jail better than when they come in, whether it's with their diploma, high school diploma, uh, or a job, some job experience. Uh, that, that's great. That's a good feeling. How has that translated into owning your own business now as a private investigator? This is altogether different. Um, it's helped me in the past, obviously. The, the experience that I gained, uh, both in Renville County and Crow Wing County, has helped me put this business together. Uh, the experience has been great. Um, I couldn't do this job without the past. And, and I thank those communities for allowing me to serve the people. So there's been a real variety of stuff. It, it, everything's different. It's always different every day when you come to work there's something. Uh, to be able to help local law enforcement, um, because I'm hired by the person, the private person, and that's who I'm working for. But when it comes to further details, or I have found uh, something that they didn't find, not because you overlooked it, but I've spent a lot more time on that case specifically. I might have asked some people and found some witnesses that they weren't aware of. Sometimes people come up a little bit later, but I want to work with law enforcement in every way that I can to help the case, help what they're doing, and uh, for justice. feels like I'm still in law enforcement uh, and again I'm licensed by the Department of Public Safety as a private detective in the private detective board so it's just another part of law enforcement is what it is. And how many hours of investigations do you have altogether in your throughout your career? I had uh, that I've documented uh, uh, close to 10,000 hours actually. You needed five for your license. But at the time I was doing all the work in different areas, I never knew that I was going to end up doing this, so I, you know, you don't keep track of that. So a lot of the cities I had to go back, and when I was putting my application together for the state, I had to go back and document all the hours that I worked, and uh, it was fun to talk to all those people again. It reminded me some of the good old days, too. I love the motorcycle. Yeah, in fact, I had a Harley-Davidson. Well, I started out with a Honda Goldwing. I had a Harley-Davidson. And recently went back to the Honda Goldwing. I bought a new Goldwing this last year for retirement. And uh, I love getting on it and riding. Just love it. And the other thing I enjoy on my time off is camping. Getting in my motor home and just taking off. Sometimes I don't know where I'm going. A group of us will meet and we'll just explore. And all that time with uh, working with inmates too as the jail administrator, you were interested in the, in the people behind the things. Very much so. You know, I always try to find the good in everybody because I know it's there. Um, sometimes it was challenging, uh, you know, but people have problems. We're, we were there and I was there, and my staff and I, to help those people through that difficult time. Um, we tried to give them, like I said earlier, we tried to give them something that when they left and they walked out the door, we gave them some type of benefit, whether it be their high school diploma or assistance with that. Uh, or it was just a skill. We have we had so many people in this this community in Crow Wing County that worked with our programs, that volunteered their time day in and day out, and they're really helping the community. And the jail is part of your community. 